Hey guys, today is 30, 33 of 50 Chocolate Makers in 50 Days, and today I have French Broad Chocolates. I have some of their older packaging. I don't know if you remember this, but it used to come with a ribbon tied around the back of the package, and then their newer packaging, which are these beautiful baby blue boxes with gold foil, and they open up into a story. So one of the best things about French Broad Chocolates, other than the, the flavor of their chocolates and how much care they put into to making the chocolates, and you can just taste the care throughout the chocolates, one of the other great things is their stories. And I love the way that they have a, this as a storybook, where you have number page one, and then it kind of continues on this little pamphlet, two, three, four, so you know what order to read things in. Their stories, the story of how Dan and Jail met, and how they have uh, all the different renditions of the company that they've gone through, and how they're raising their family. Now they're in Asheville, North Carolina, making bean to bar chocolate there they have ties back to costa rica they also make beautiful cakes and things like that on that i've seen online but i've had their truffles and this is a picture of the raspberry truffle they have a whole line of truffles i don't have any of them to eat sadly right now but i still remember biting into this raspberry truffle and the burst of raspberry flavor it was so intense and it was just a beautiful silky texture so they have fantastic truffles too and then they've got sipping chocolate and it's called sip isn't that cute i just love that it's just charming so I've never been to visit them, but I love the people behind this company. I love their integrity. I do love the bars that they make, and, and I would eat them, actually. I've eaten all of them except for this little bit here of this bar, and then a little bit of this 100% bar that I've got that my sister-in-law brought back to me from, Raleigh North, or from Asheville, North Carolina, where they are. So I have never been to Asheville to see their store, but someday I will go to their shop, and I will order a big huge as much as I can of their sip sipping chocolate and I will eat a chocolate bar and whatever else I can find there to eat and enjoy the entire experience so until then if you are there before I get there please enjoy and tell me about your experiences there talk to you soon